Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Loren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, Young K sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. For great justice! Wait, but that's not our hero. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. <laughs> this place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis, isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book, on an adventure, or something. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions! To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Not much of an improvement. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys! Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master. Such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. 
I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, <laughs> it's still tea, right? Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn, as in literal ashes? Oh, shit. Intrusion! Who dares? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my! <laughs> you, the one with the dire need of a haircut! What have you done to my remains? Well, apparently, I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How you doing? I... what? Don't go what on me, son! You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... A thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. Desideratus of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So... Heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller. And bulkier. And, you know, smarter. And ashy stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son! We Laurens are proud folk! And this... this... Uh, uh. Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right! This ain't right at all! But you're the heir! You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring, uh, uh... Look, I'm sorry about the ashes, and I appreciate the offer, I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry. This just won't work out. But I must... Wait, where are you going? Kay? Kay. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Ugh, kids these days! Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city, then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? How rude. 
to demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. Well... I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been... confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But... but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why? It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Ah! Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please. We are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in rash till. People respect it, and respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have. Rebuild this... city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <laughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible! No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell.
But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Are you all right, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, <sighs> oh, well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> Funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts. Writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod. I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crusy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours? That stern-looking chap? You're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Ah, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied, for now. And believe me, you'll need me, oh yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls, likely for good. Bloody shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Eh, uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool! The gnomes? But the gnomes are still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it! The business-savvy midgets! They don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck! That's great! Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. Then you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. 
No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks guys. <laughs> Uh. Oh, for the love of... Let's go! At your side. Time is now. Momentum, guys. Not yet. Now! 
no quarter. Let us strike! Hmm. Skillful. Push them back! May your guards take you. Let us strike! Heaven! Do not falter! Your side. Push them back. For great justice. Victory for House Lauren. The time is now. Push them back! No quarter! <laughs> 